Cool. We're back. Welcome back to Apocalypse World. It is the Apocalypse, or what? rather, it is... I'm in the wrong place. I was meant to be on a vacation in the Bahamas. N well, at the moment, it, it, it's not so much the Apocalypse as, like, a cornfield. You're on a, you're on a path through a cornfield filled with, like, lit with little, little tea light candles. Aww. It's actually yeah, quite sweet. Nice. That sounds real nice. Um, yeah. So I think, uh, while we're walking, and I think ever since we stepped on this road, uh, Morning has been watching. Um, like, everything. E everything around them. Um, and I think in, like, the television show version of this, um, or the anime. I don't think we've decided yet what exactly what media it takes place in. <laughs> I, I kind of like the idea of like a real like Oscorp comic book or like a mm. George Miller film, but like whatever. Um, I think the light, I think there's some weird interaction between like what they usually see with their like eye of fire and the light of the lanterns. I think there's there's some like overlapping and like intensification of what it is they're normally able to see. And so, yeah, they're just, like, their, their eye is constantly moving, like, inside their skull, right? Because it doesn't, it's just fire now, and it sees kind of omnidirectionally. Uh, and they're just, like, watching their surroundings and the people they're with and the places where people could be who, had in, who have intentions to do us harm and just surveying the landscape all around. Cool. It's not a charged situation, so you can't read it until yeah. you hear oh, okay. someone sc like start like screaming and yelling. No, no, ah, get it! What's coming? Um, and you see someone like back their way towards you and like just stop like a meter deep into the cornfield from the path, and they just like they they have like a, um, a, a I think this is. This is Vegemite um, with an with an Uzi, and they just like spray uh, spray bullets in front of them. We just hear the sound of like bullets like flicking through cornfield. Um, what are you cool. doing? Um. So here's the thing. Um, <laughs> well, like we we've already established, and Morning is aware of this that like the the lantern path is not entirely like in alignment with the rest of like the reality of the grove always and oftentimes things that are on it can't be seen by things that aren't um and so i think they just like gesture uh to give because they think we've already established right like give given and morning have this like language of like basic hand signs and so they, they gesture to give like stop silence to pass it on to everyone and they're just gonna take a moment to like survey kind of veggie vegemite but like mainly just like what is in front of vegemite and what is out there yep and also importantly to figure out if the path between them and vegemite that like one meter gap of cornfield is one of the uh, broken places or one of the normal places? Yeah. Because that is an important I think you're meeting important them. Thing to me. How about now? That's better. Yeah. Um, when I see the, the, like, the signal, uh, and I'm still up on Mito's shoulder, so I just, like, look down at Mito and then, like, reach down and just put a hand, like, slowly put a hand over Mito's speaker <laughs> face. <laughs> just, like look very serious i telekinetically communicate with uh my robot friends as well bossy. and um yeah and i get two of them to step forward and flank morning yeah cool. um uh, can i roll to read a situation yes you can nice Gonna roll and read that situation. But you're not gonna read it. Great. <laughs> Anyone wanna help? That'd be cool. 
Um, How? I, I could I try and help. Um, uh, how? I'm up highest. I can see the most from where I am. Yeah, cool. Yep. That seems legit. Okay. You're you're the only cool. person whose head is above the corn. Even I like yeah. the idea that like that like morning's body is slightly like shrunken and haggard. Now. Mm. Oh yeah. Like oh, you definitely. don't stand at the same height that you did. Mm. I think part of it is almost just like posture, right? Like yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, spirit, it's the it, yeah, like, like the spirit, we've done the reverse yeah, trend, yeah. like the the reverse, um, like Superman trans transformation. You've gone from standing up straight down to like Clark Kent. Yeah, yeah. Like, the autopilot is not like a perfect autopilot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and get an eight. Does that give me enough? Nice. Yeah, it does. Takes me up to a seven, I believe. Yes. Yep. You are a seven. Cool. Thank you, Ash. Cool, 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 cool. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yep, cool. Just needed to do a little advancing because it just ticked over my XP bar. <laughs> Your XP and bar. Um, yep. She got another another advance. Ah, oh, uh, an advance. That sounds pretty I'm good. I'm starting. I'm starting to run out of advances to take. <laughs> it means you're good at the game. Um, <sighs> what should I be on the lookout for? I think... I think you can tell that whatever that that the space between the real world and the maelstrom there is a break that that you might just stepped back out of right they just stepped back through one right whatever they're shooting a gun at is not in our is not in our space is not oh, okay is from backstage yeah. Right. Great. So that gun is just going into cornfield, right? Yeah, it's just completely useless. Um, I think they look back um, at Give. Because um, we... Uh, like, we, we know that we... Like, both of us have had dealings with uh, Partridge and her mob uh, before. And I want to know, like, is Giv... Does Giv... Do, does Giv think it's really important that we, like, save Vegemite? Or... Right. Like, what does Giv think, right? Because, like... Because hmm. Morning doesn't really have ethics left... <laughs> that's one of the things that die. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. the autopilot, that's one of the things it isn't really bothered. Like, the wolf isn't bothering to animate the ethics part of Sunrise's brain. Wow. Yep. So Morning's just yeah. like, I mean, maybe we. Mm? Boo. Okay, so I, from up here. So up, to, up to give and then down to Mito. I just. Um, so from up here. At this can... point, Vegemite has like fallen down on the ground and is just like clutching the thing and doesn't seem to be able to look behind them to you, but is just like mm -hmm. clutching their gun and staring wildly at the sky. Okay. And it seems like they're distressed, but not necessarily that they can see something that I can't see. They they seem to be like reacting like someone thinks something that's hunted. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. I think, yeah, I think Give doesn't necessarily fully know what the look from uh, Morning is asking, um, but it interprets it as like, a thing is happening, you should react to it. Um, <laughs> and so they are going to like... Um, Budgie Smuggler is being like, is trying to like go to help. It's like, and it's like, and I think Budgie Smuggler is saying like, like Veggie, Veggie, right? Yeah. But like he's okay, being yeah. like held so, back by the robots. 
yeah, yeah. So if mm. if um if Budgie Smuggler is doing that, then um yeah, I think I I add my voice to that um and like call out and I'm like, Vegemite, what are you doing? And I think this is the first point at which Vegemite like notices that you're there, and, like looks up and like scrambles backwards onto the path with you, and it's like yeah, uh, um uh, and it's like there were people things uh, they had claws no eyes yeah yeah so mm -hmm. I, think, I think they're the morning, bad guys <laughs> i think morning like stoops down um and grabs uh vegemite by the shoulders um and like presses their foreheads together Vegemite so like, is like, like not resisting, but freaked out, like wide eyed being mm. like. <gasps> yeah, yeah. And they're, and they're like, and like the eye of fire, like stares deep into Vegemite's soul. Um, and like, what I feel, sentence. and I feel like they're, and, and like morning very, like, like lets them in as well. Mm. Like we have here kind of the echo of that moment we had with Mido and morning uh, back at the radio shed tower, like way back mm. in the beginning of mm. the, of this arc. And they'll and and they say, Vegemite, it can't hurt you here. Backstage can only touch you. The wolves can only touch you when they're you're in their space. And right here, where the candles are, you're safe. Yeah, they're like take a deep breath. Calm down. I'm going to be in so much trouble. I was supposed to be keeping a perimeter. Uh, and I think I think they 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 give them like that almost like parental like shoulder squeeze thing. And 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 and, and are like, no, is tell tell me about Vegemite. Is Vegemite young, old? Uh... Vegemite is a probably um, late teens. I think we established like. I think we established they were an envy kid, um, yes. and I think oh that's right, and they smear dark stuff on their face as like wall paint. Um, yeah, that's their cool. thing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, and so I think yeah, like morning like squeezes their shoulders like comfortingly and like supportively in the way that like a parent would, and is like, it's all right, kid. No one's gonna blame you. No one on this side can fight those things. Not with guns. You did the best you could. And they like haul, like effortlessly, uh, mm -hmm. like stand up and just kind of haul Vegemite up with them. Uh, and like ruffle their hair. Um, cool. Um, and they're like, and they're like, don't worry, I'll talk to Partridge for you. Cool. But for now, and yeah, and you got to they... stick with me. You got to stick with us. We'll keep you safe. Yeah, awesome. The robots let go of um, a Budgie Smuggler and um, Vegemite and Budgie Smuggler do like a an embrace and secret handshake. Um, Aww. Um, yeah, and it's clear um, that there's like a like a like an older like a like a mentor sort of relationship. Yeah. So. Um... Budgie Smuggler's still armed, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, so I look at Budgie Smuggler, like, over, right? So, like, I'm here, and Budgie Smuggler's there, and, like, Vegemite is, like, in the middle with their head, like, tucked into Budgie Smuggler's, like, shoulder or whatever, right? And I just, like, look at Budgie Smuggler over the top of their head, and just, like, I don't think there's even words. It's just this, this very clearly communicated, like, you keep, like, keep them safe. Take care yeah. of them. That's, your like, your job. That kid... You, t you take care of them. Yeah. Cool. Um, um, yeah, I, Mido, what are you going to say? I would like to ask where in the perimeter they were. I now have a concern about the growth of spiritual energy that is, 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 is expanding, and I, I'd like to find out why. They are separated. Why Vegemite is separated from the rest of their unit? Um, yeah, they're like, I don't know. Um, 
they were and and like they take a moment to like try and like recollect what like what actually happened because they, mm. they seem like really like confused about it um and then and then they're like we found the roundhouse thing and then uh that i think um just like let me check my notes <laughs> Um, I'm gonna remember thing, who's... Thing, it happened. It, it definitely it happened a lot. She, she, to a lot of people, probably. It was very dramatic. Where are your to names? Some people Random. in a place. There was a thing involved. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, right. Okay, I think it's I think just Partridge then. I think uh, I think they're like Partridge went into the roundhouse. They had a lot of guns, but they were by themselves. They went in um, with one of the one of the wizards, I think. We were trying to keep a perimeter around the roundhouse, but uh, I, at some point, um, I was in a closet or uh, a, and a cupboard, and then when I came out, it was I was here and or, or somewhere like here, and there was that thing uh, coming through. It was giant, and it, it was, yeah, and they just kind of like, that's all they remember. Okay, then. That's terrifying, but good news. The wizard is alive. One of the wizards is alive. <laughs> Bright side. Um, can we see a roundhouse in the distance? Or can no, we... you can see cornfield. It's just the cornfield. Hmm. Mm. I think I like I like I like um Pat Mito on the shoulder and I'm like We don't find the roundhouse Mito. <laughs> we just gotta keep walking, the roundhouse will find us. <laughs> so the question I was gonna ask is where do you want to go? Or where do you wanna try and uh, go? I'm just trying to remember, we've been to the roundhouse, right? Nope. Didn't we see, like, the outside of it the first session? You've seen a couple of buildings. I don't think you've seen a roundhouse okay, specifically. specifically. So I think about Partridge. I just, I just like... I, it's that same thing of, like, letting go. And, like, morning just, like, starts walking in the direction that seems the one that occurs to them naturally walking partridge wise yeah, exactly right and just and just and just like in in their head is just like running this like tape and again right like they 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 access the part of their of of you know like sunrise's brain that the wolf is squatting in and like i don't think we see it but like an exchange happens in which they're like hey could we view like the partridge video surveillance tapes <laughs> and like all of all of all of Sunrise's memories of Partridge start playing in like a repeat loop, on yeah. the big projector screen of like part of Sunrise's memories, and they're just like contemplating these memories of Partridge and just walking, and where they so, where we come yeah, to we a, hear... walk in the path. So we I think take we, yeah, feels right. We see like you walking down the thing, and then like pulls up next to you in the in the like in the like just driving through the th the um the corn you kind of see partridge like pull up in their station wagon and be like did you guys hear that what was that there's smoke down there and like and like suddenly you're at the top of the lookout and then yeah, totally. like and at, that's the point at which you roll yep and this is plus cool to move through no i think this is plus weird okay yeah, because right, I think you're, you're opening your brain. To... I, I'm also 110% okay with that. I love it when I open my brain to the world psychic maelstrom. Come on, dice. Hey. Yeah. Hey, does anyone want to help me so I can get that sweet 12 plus? <laughs> How do you help give? I can help. I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to it's help? True. What does it it's look like statement. on screen? Um, 
I guess it depends on whether or not, like, on how much I understand of what uh, Morning is doing, because, uh, yeah, I don't know if Morning communicates as such uh, what it is they want to do. Um, I think the bit yeah, where all of the landscape well. around us shifts to a memory that we share. Ah, uh, yeah, is cool. probably pretty telling. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's a thing I glimpse as well. Then, I mean, if, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, Ash. It sounded to me like we're all no longer in cornfields. We're just no. This on was you. The... This is so. The question oh, is, was... if you're getting an eleven, was... then I think you can like make the cultural area around you that, right? Like, you yeah. can okay. be broadcasting. Um, yeah, totally, but... totally. I'm cool. Broadcasting. All right then. In which case, yeah. In which case, I, um, I immediately kind of like lock on to that memory as well, um, and sort of, I guess, I'm expecting the next part of the memory um and maybe that gives gives that power that, yeah I'm not sure. that makes sense. yeah if i was yeah if i was there for that memory then i think that that's that's the key um that was the so. first scene of the whole campaign exactly uh yeah cool there cool. we go it's an eight this yep. looks really strange because mm. i i don't think that Mito or any of the robots are privy to this as far yeah, as you're completely as like we're yeah, not even yeah as, as far as we're concerned you've just you you two have zoned out and while walking yeah while walking which is incredibly dangerous so well the thing <laughs> is i think like i think like while you've zoned out um right while you're doing this um I think you No, right, because neither of you are huh. Neither of you have facts that have understudies. Nope. No. Yeah, right. So yeah, you are just zoned out. I was gonna say, like, because normally you'd be on autopilot. Like oh. like your your other person would jump in. Um I mean, I okay, mean but... I've got a I've got a wolf in me. Yeah, actually, I feel like there are some things maybe here that Mito is seeing, which isn't necessarily new information, but maybe, like, it's interesting now. Um, uh, I can't remember whether I gave you my secret or who I gave this secret to, but anyway, um, I think uh, there's a weird thing that Mito notices, particularly because they're, like, holding Giv, mm. um, is that as Giv zones out, um, they stop weighing the right amount like oh, they don't feel cool. like a normal kid anymore they get really light and kind of like like they're made of something that isn't quite like flesh like they feel mm. kind of fabric -y. yeah yeah and I'm with you. sort of like, yeah. like yeah okay like you're holding okay. a big teddy bear on your shoulder or something yeah mm. right hey, i have a question is helping with an open your brain role opening your brain? Uh, I feel I in this it, case it is. I think it depends. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think I agree with him. Seems like it is in this case. Because it feels like I have to do that in order to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ash, if M gets a 12 plus, can I take Give with me to the up, the, the looking place? I mean, Emily. Give doesn't yeah. have the open. Well, I'm not rolling separately, am I? You're just asking whether that well, role I mean, there's, is I mean, there's the, there's mechanically the opening Emily, your brain? Roll your help. I did. Well, sorry. I, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. You rolled the eight. It was sorry, an eight. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. In which case, that's which fine. Which is just a plus one. Um, yeah. yeah. But. 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 Where are they? There they are. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so while Ash thinks, Jimmy, let me let me tell you about a thing that you, that Mito also notices. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, and I don't, think like don't, this... don't 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 just a second. Okay, Ash because I need I need to do this before we do do anything else. This is Where exciting. Is okay, this okay. is on the edge of my seat. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This is this is cool. Um, where is it? What is about to happen? <gasps> when you are a wolf. Where did That's that me. Hmm. I'm a wolf. You are. Well, I'm not. 
No. Kind of I'm, a I'm, a half, I'm, of half, I'm a half. I'm a half fire, and there's like a yeah. tame wolf curled up next to me. <laughs> I like it. Is that not where I stored that? Where did I store it? It's in the highway. This is Ben. I'm sorry. I'm really excited. I feel like the access to Ash's internal monologue is kind of like building the suspense. Because at some point, she's going to stop mumbling and start reading rules text. And at that point, shit's going to get real. Oh yeah, because cause shit wasn't real already. <laughs> like, Jimmy, honey, this is Apocalypse World. Right now, things are very chill. Oh, dear. Jimmy, did you know? Did you know that there is a, thi a weapon in the game that does eight harm? That just kills everything. All right. No, okay. That's I'm going to have to remember this off the top of my head. When you now are a wolf and fine. someone opens their brain near you, roll plus cool. Me? I got a roll plus cool. I'm mm -hmm. good at cool. That's a skill that I have. Better roll good then. Oh yeah. Cool. In which case, <sighs> you maintain you, you maintain control. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. So Jimmy, you, Mito sees, and I think everyone else. I, th I think like this is the first time the audience also like really like gets an impact this to reincorporate what we were talking about a little earlier like in Mito's like memory bank or however the fuck Mito's memory works now like there's mm. suddenly this uh, this sharp realization that morning doesn't move like sunrise and the point at which you become aware of it is that a a as they zone out and the wolf autopilot takes over they go back to moving like sunrise, like without like in this fluid single moment without even skipping a beat. Right. Like suddenly just like their posture shifts and like the, the length and like the weight distribution of their strides like changes and mm. the way they hold their hands, like all of these things just very subtly like shift. Yeah. And suddenly we all become aware, oh fuck, like morning doesn't move or stand or make facial expressions, anything like sunrise really actually. Mm. But because it was such a subtle change, like no one had noticed yet. But now, yeah. it's like, oh fuck! Yeah, like now sunrise is back. Yeah, morning yeah. moves more like a wolf. <laughs> no, morning moves like a like a battered wife. Mm. Right, like okay. cowed. Yeah, mm. and like fits and starts almost mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like, whereas, like, Sunrise was always just, like, smooth, graceful, like... Yeah. There's a lot totally more unwavering in, certain in morning. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I think, yeah, I, th I think, like, yeah, like, morning, morning, like, goes to uh, the looking place uh, backstage and just, like, Sunrise just, like, robotically, autopilotly walks onwards. All right. So I think, what do you? So yeah, like talk to me. What's your? What are you looking for? You're looking for partridge. Yeah. So I, so like yeah. what? Yeah. So like I go I go up into the looking place, and, and because you follow partridge's this... partridge's car all the way to like, like because you have that vision of partridge's car right pulling up from the yeah. from like from from then, and then you can kind of like zoom out and just like see the path that it will take. Right? Yeah, right, because, like, I'm beyond time in this space. Yeah. So I think I just, like, take that moment, because I, I have it. It's an endless, eternal... It's it's that moment backstage, like, before the curtain goes up. Yeah. Just that waiting hush, and I'm, I can just stay there forever. And so I think, like... I think we see a montage of just, like, mourning, like wandering around and just like looking down at different bits of the grove and like oh there's a roundhouse in the distance and oh there's the path it's gonna take him oh what's Mido doing right now and it's just like they just like take us they just look around them and just like take in everything that's happening like all over the grove as if they have all the time in the world because in this place and in this moment they do cool and they just like they're just checking it out I don't think you see the the roundhouse 
I think you see shrapnel blown into the air as if it had been like, as if a great explosion had blown the roundhouse apart. And Mm. you, and I think you see repeatedly Partridge walking into where the roundhouse would be and just exploding Mm. like a grenade. Right. Um, Not gorily, just in parts. Right. Like I'm being, yeah. Like disassembled. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, just think re- I, like, I think and I just repeated on loop like a gif, right? Just them walking into this space and just and this and like you cannot. The one thing you cannot seem to get like that seems to be locked in this time spot is that, is that. fucking the center yeah. of that explosion. Yeah, it's like, so it's I like think... if you, it's like if you crashed a multi-story building into the ground from the height of like a seven four seven. Mm. yeah and so i think at this point we like like we're seeing we're seeing dawn right because morning is in the looking place so like yeah. they right, they look like completely different it's just like this tight this this little like ghostly kid with like two flaming eyes and then just like this burning like ball of fire where their heart should be and i think like they start very slowly like descending from the looking place into like the pages of of backstage Mm. and like as they do we zoom in on like the space that lies between the roundhouse and where everyone else is on the lantern path Mm -hmm. and as they go we see this like super slow motion like aging in aging upwards of them and like all of a sudden their dusk and then they keep falling and they keep falling and they keep looking around. Then all of a sudden they're midnight and they keep falling and they keep falling and they keep looking around. Then all of a sudden they're sunrise and they keep falling and they keep falling. And then like sunrise is dead. And then it's just like, it's just morning. It's just sunrise's body with like, mm. this flaming eye. And then they like fall back into front stage, hopefully uh, with an awareness of like where they need to go. Yep. I mean, what you do as you fall is you bend the the path, right? You turn cool. it. Do I have you to just... roll for that? No, you've done that. That cool. was your thirteen. Yeah. Or whatever nice. it was. Yeah. Twelve or whatever. Whatever it was. Yeah. That roll. Yeah. Yeah. You you you've bent the path. Does anyone want to do anything before you go any further? Um. um I think. I'll I think th- when 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 okay. So one thing is when they zone out. Um, I think. But smuggler is like, ah, uh, yo, M- Mito, that that kid doesn't look so good. Can I? Do you want to just pass him here for a second? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like, look, look, they don't like. They're all pale. Um, I check in with my robot friends to do a vital scan. To to see if they can signs of life um yeah. on insight is that insight or is that um, you just want to ask them you just ask them they they're, they're yeah. like they're like um the object you are carrying is not uh, um is not alive is give still moving uh give still seems to be breathing hmm. i'm gonna get in, do i uh <laughs> i don't imagine okay. i am yeah okay um there's some there's something that makes it give the illusion of being alive but like not quite you know like i think i'm just like blowing in the like the breeze or something like yeah, yeah. like i'm just like kind of moving a little bit but it's yeah. not like yeah. an internal thing yeah um i asked budgie smuggler um do you know medicine? But just smuggler's like, no, not a lot, but a little bit for like fixing wounds and stuff. Um, I can, I can, can I just have a look at them? Uh, like they're really concerned. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I, I lie give on the, the ground as lightly and as flatly as possible. And um, I call Budgie Smuggler over to, to, to look and hound, basically. 
information. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me what's happening. Yeah, and like Budgie Smuggler's like, and yeah, you're like like hounding hounding them with questions. Budgie Smuggler's like, yeah. look, I just need to concentrate for a minute. Just give me a minute, and like you know, and like puts a hand o like in front, like a back of a hand o uh, in front of Gives mouth, and doesn't feel anything, and like checks for a pulse and all these sorts of things. I was like, and I think, I think what happens is that they go through like some standard CPR things, and then they do a couple of things that don't make any sense. And then they pick give up under the underarms and like wobble them and be like, come on, buddy, come on. And then at that point, give comes back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Yeah. Just sort of like kind of blink at them. And I'm like, hello. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh God. You're all right. Okay. I didn't think that would work. <laughs> I'm okay. Fine. Um, this, and yeah, but just like, okay, buddy, I'm glad. That's good. That's good. You scared us for a minute there. Why? I, without even like, looking at, at Budgie Smuggler, I just skirt, give up again, and put them on my shoulder, in exactly the same position that they were at. And there's just um, this moment where Budgie Smuggler's like hands linger after like yeah. having the kid taken yeah. out of their arms. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so and. I reached down and grabbed the machine gun that had also been dropped and hand it back to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hand it back to give. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I sort of like take it like taking a toy or something. Just yeah. Yeah. Like. Hold on to it. <laughs> um, uh, I also want to ask the robots to define life. Whoa. Um, what I want to, I, sure. I want to ask the ro like, I, I want to ask the robot. What I wanted to do is ask the robots, are they alive? Uh, whether or not give is alive? No, whether whether the robots themselves are alive. Um, the robots, alive. The, the robots say, uh, the robots replies are, um, we are functioning automaton. We are not. Uh, uh, we do not exist with cellular reproduction. Okay. Okay. Your object appears to be uh, appears to be. Um, uh, showing signs of AT of ATP, I think is the is the thing it's called, um, and so, um, and uh, cellular uh, cellular replacement. Okay. 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 It is right. now what we would consider is... to be alive. Uh, and one of them is like, I believe, congratulations are in order. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a that's a lot to deal with. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, we're just gonna keep that little tidbit to ourselves at the moment, and we're just gonna follow um, follow morning, I guess. If so, so I, I have I have I have a little a, a little moment, um, if you'll indulge me. I think like as this entire sequence has been going on. Mm. Like starting from like when gives put give give is put down like we just in the, in the background of the shots we just see morning continuing to walk just like 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 on autopilot until like they're like way ahead but then like as we cut back to like you getting back up back up to see them they're like only like 10 feet ahead because the very last change to the path that morning made on the way down was just like shrinking the distance between where they had gotten <laughs> to and where you were yeah <laughs> and so suddenly they're just like right up really close to you again um okay but i don't know that anyone like actively notices yeah mm. right yeah it's just like we the audience like how we, what <laughs> yeah um yeah so morning morning looks at mito because mito seems to want something um sorry uh yes yeah um I need to um, I need to think for a second. So we're, we're gonna we are gonna follow. We are going to follow. Um, sorry, I'm just sending a quick yeah. message through to the roll twenty chat. Um, ah, cool. <laughs> um, so um, 
Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna follow you because oh. experience has told us that you kind of know what you're doing. Um, uh, and uh, we're gonna again with the the robots behind us. Well, I, I actually what I'm gonna do is gonna have two of them flanking you, out mm -hmm. like following you as close as they can there, uh, morning, and the other three are gonna surround. Uh, a Vegemite and Budgie Smuggler, like they were before, protecting the squishy, squishy humans. I feel like it's really awkward. Like for any member of the of the watching audience who has a good sense of rhythm, this sequence is really uncomfortable because all of the robots work in like walk in like perfect automated harmony, with completely unwavering rhythm. And every mm. couple of steps, morning just like glitches slightly. Yeah, and yeah. Like, and like, there's like a half beat of delay before the next step is taken, or the next step is slightly too short, because the mm. autopilot is not quite perfect. <laughs> and so, mm. like, every so often, the robots are then having to like stop, and then morning keeps going, and then they catch back up, and then a couple of steps, like it happens again. And so, it's just this really uncomfortable, awkward, herky jerky <laughs> like procession at the front of them. I think that even the like the automatons uh, pick up on this. And yeah. they're really good at automatic, like automatic steps anyway, but they're also really good at following step. And so yeah. they start trying to read your pattern and it almost becomes a, like a, a dance for them. A little game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's real. That's, that's real cute. Um, yeah. And I think morning just like leads everyone onwards. And uh, I don't think Ash, forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't think it's very long at all. No. Before we're back. Um, like, before I think, like, we're within sight of the roundhouse. Yep. And then, again, like, there's none of the intermediate steps that a biological organism would take. Like, morning just turns around and stops. And there's, you know, none of, like, the muscle tensing, none of those, like, instinctive things that should happen to prepare for it. They just, like, stop and turn. Um, and hold up their hand for everyone else to stop. The roundhouse is, um, has wood panel walls, big circular glass windows that are, like, dark inside. Um, and, like, wooden shingles for, like, a conical roof that come out past the the walls into like a veranda all the way around it and which are held up with like big gum logs for pillars um and then there's um and then there's like uh brick paving but in like a, all of the bricks are like a star shape that like interlock to make the to make the paving um underneath it and that like comes fades out into the into the path that you're in here and all around it are these raised garden beds um that have fresh produce all growing in them um and amongst them i think are like little wooden trucks and pencils and bits of paper and all those sorts of things um yeah yeah and so yeah like sunrise holds up uh, morning holds up their hand um and like drops and like sinks down to one like i crouches in the same way that they did when they were talking to um, to Vegemite, uh, which ironically, because of how tall they are, puts them, like, not that far below, like, eyeline level on some members of the group. Yeah. Uh, and they just kind of, like, they, they kind of, like, beckon everyone in close. Um, ex and, and just, like, wait for people to do that. Yeah. Um, I think, um, like, Vegemite and um, Budgie Smuggler like look between themselves and Bud Budgie Smuggler steps up but Vegemite like just like steps back and like turns around and like starts like looking around um, with their gun at the ready. Give Mito? Um, what's Give feeling at the moment in relation to carrying weapons and the use thereof? Because oh, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm reading the situation because um, mm, I'm reading yeah, the situation. Yeah, how are you interpreting? How does it well, seem like you're interpreting all this? Well, like 
as far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm watching you two know more about the danger than anyone else in the party, right? So the fact that Vegemite has the machine gun out and is is pointing it at the sky isn't much of a con well, I mean it's a concern obviously, but it's not a huge concern in terms of um uh, like, I, I don't take that as a sign of imminent danger. So I'm watching what you two are doing because you two are in charge as far as I understand it. I'm there as an extension to what you're doing. Um, so I'm okay. watching, I, I think I'm more specifically watching watching Give as mm. to what their reaction is going to be rather than... And um, Mm. And so you said, Ash, that we can't see into the windows. There are glass windows, but they're dark. Yep. Okay. And I think did you, you see, say I think you can see movement inside, but it's dark? Ah. Does it seem like movement of several people, lots of people, things, or like a person? A person seems like. Okay. And um, door. Just... What's the door situation? Big double door. Um, Big double door. I think it's. I think it's round it's like arched um mm -hmm. and has like uh again like the the logs holding it up the door handles are made out of like natural like wood mm. um, yeah yeah and i think um like it's covered in like cut out wood things of like fake like like fake leaves and like animals and stuff yeah so um yeah i guess i like peer like squint in like at the window um and then i so like whisper to just to oh. be clear just to be clear to everyone because i feel like my description was vague like morning has not stepped off the path yet like yeah. morning is standing in the middle of the path between everyone else and the destination with yep. their hand out like stop clearly yep. expecting okay. them to like have mm -hmm. a conversation first. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. People are free okay. to ignore that, but like that is what they. No, are. no, that's fine. Well, I'm I'm not necessarily going up to the window. I'm just like yeah, kind just... of like squinting yeah. at the movement, and then yeah, I say to morning like, I think part. I think I can see partridge in there. She's moving around. Maybe it's partridge. I think morning shakes their head and says. I don't know that what's in there is much of anyone anymore. Um, Why was happened to Partridge? Like what happened to you? I think they they sh they shake their head and they sigh and they say, "All right, Mido, come in close." <laughs> but just uh... the comes in close. Hmm? Should I put give down for this? Uh -oh. I don't care. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna monologue at everyone. Like you can do what you want, <laughs> right? Like, and I think, I th yeah, I, th I think what happens is like to to give the broad brush. I'm gonna give the broad brush strokes, and maybe then like specifically give a few moments because I don't want. I don't need to do the whole thing. Like, mm -hmm. it basically gives like an expository explanation of everything we have learned over the last couple of episodes about the nature of the psychic maelstrom, right? So they're like, right. you know, like they, they explain like backstage and what backstage is and the collision between backstage and front stage and what the fuck actually happens when you open your brain and what the wolves are. Um, and, and, you know, they, they, they explain all of this and then they kind of like their voice gets like really like quiet and intense and they do that thing where you want to command the attention of a group of people and instead of letting your voice go louder you like you quiet you go quiet so mm -hmm. they have to like lean in to hear you mm -hmm. and they're like that there and they point just over their shoulder that's the impact site that's where backstage hit so it caused I Sorry, Em. No, no, I was just going to say, um, I think like as you're talking and explaining, you can see that Gib has lost track of like yeah, totally. what you're saying. Like totally, it just totally. has stopped making sense 100%. and they're kind of tuning 100%. out. And then when 100%. and then when your voice goes quiet, um, they sort of like tune back in, even though it doesn't really make, make a lot of sense to them. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, and, and at some point in this moment-ish, I would really love to read a situation because I you feel like this is very charged. When Budgie Smuggler just goes, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I would really like that. But okay. I, I feel it was something that Jimmy, if you can say something. Well, I just so. more factually, maybe this will help with the reading of the situation. But I'd mm -hmm. like to sort of question the automatons to see if they know anything about the impact, historically mm. speaking, if they have any records or anything um dates times what happened and maybe Sounds that's like more of an assist move network. yeah okay so should we read the sitch or um no that's opening your printed network if you're gonna do if you're asking them that uh okay but actually should we, i think but, i think okay. reading the situation uh, reading the sitch happens first though you're right yeah okay. yeah yeah i would like to do that um because i have identified that this is all very complicated mm -hmm. and i need to get a get a handle on things. Um, so I'm going to try and read the situation. Yes, yes I yeah. am. I'm going to freaking hey. read that situation. <laughs> so hard. Okay. Um, good. It's my, it's actually my extra questions that I really want, but um, I'll ask other questions. Read the situation. Okay. Um, what should I be on the lookout for? Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you four questions. Prepare yourself. What should I be on the lookout for? Who's in control here? And I'm including the group that we're in and whatever's inside the roundhouse. All in the same situation. Mm -hmm. um, what's my enemy's true position? And also... I would like to know. Um, um, who here is keeping secrets from the rest? Cool. Because I don't think I need to know how close the wolves are. I think I can very much <laughs> tell where the wolves are. Hello. I want to know who's keeping secrets. All right. <laughs> Who here is keeping secrets? The wizards are keeping secrets. And so are the androids. Morning is keeping secrets. Morning is keeping secrets. Um Mito, are you keeping secrets? I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> um <No. laughs> Thank you for that. What very should you be answer. on the lookout for? So everyone is keeping secrets, basically. Basically. Ah, uh, no. Okay. You know who's not keeping secrets? Yeah, who's not? <laughs> Vegemite and um and Budgie Smuggler. Cool. They're not. Mm. Good to know. Um, All right. They are currently keeping each other safe. That's it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Cool. With your reading of the situation. Uh, you spot the station wagon drifting gently behind the roundhouse in the air. Um, its axles, wheels, uh, drivetrain, bonnet, engine are all <laughs> disassembled like a Haynes manual and like floating in place as it just kind of like turns Formation. corner over corner. Um, Do I recognize it as a specific? Is this someone's car specifically? Yep. It is, is it Partridge's car? Yeah. Right. Um, Got it. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so that's what I should be on the lookout for? That tells you that, like, something. Or is. That, that's, that's a warning of danger, right? Like, that, that is. Yeah. That is a thing. That, that is an will... indication that Partridge is not things have not gone the way partridge wants them yeah. to go yeah who's really in control here and what is your enemy's true position your enemies who's your enemy um <laughs> your enemy's true, true position is either uh holding their hand out in front of you and just whispering to you 
or in the roundhouse or stalking around the roundhouse like hyenas stalking around the kill of a lion waiting for their turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> what okay. was the other question? Um, I think that was... Who's really in control here? Did we who's really in one? control here? Yes. Whatever or whoever is in the very center of the roundhouse, which is, is not what you can see through that window. Okay. That's really important. All right. So, yeah, you can only I... see into the front room. Yep. So I look back at um, uh, morning and, like, imitate their look of seriousness, you know, um, and I say, um, someone's moving. Maybe it's Partridge. Uh, there's someone else in there. And I, like, point at the window and I'm, like, in the middle. And they're, like, in charge. This sounds like a job for Axel, is what I'm so thinking. I, so Morning, like, reaches out and, and like, gives, gives, give, gives, gives shoulder, like a, a, like, a good job squeeze. Give clearly understands and looks up at Mito, because Mito still doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that is the impact site. That's where it started. Okay. That is a broken place. The car, okay. and, or, or rather, I don't think they even say those words. Like they point yeah. at, the, at the object and they say, that's not a car anymore. Can I the woman see in the there? car? Not Partridge anymore, not Partridge anymore. Can, can I see if the we car? go in there. Yeah, you can see the car once it's pointed out. It's just, it was drifting behind the thing. Oh, okay, okay. If we go in there, we may not be able to come out. Um, and then I stand up and I walk past Mido. Mido has all the information Mido needs. <laughs> and I, I, I go and I talk to Budgie Smuggler. Um, hmm. Mido, you, know, you, can, you can do whatever you want. Um, I don't really mind. I respectfully disagree that I have all the information that I need. But what Mor what morning does is then like go yeah. up to Budgie Smuggler and put their hands on Budgie Smuggler's shoulders um, and say, "That's not a safe place. It's not a place where guns can help. It's not a place that you are meant to go. It's for the dead and the broken and the unliving." And cool. you have got to take care of that kid for me. And yeah, I am to do some manipulate. I want yeah. her to stay outside with Vegemite on the path where it is safe. Yep. Cool. Roll it. Cool. Let's see what happens when I roll the dice. I get a nine. That's pretty good. What happens when that success? Um, At some they, cost. I mean, like, are you going to leave the kid here? Because, they're like, you, you, you're not taking a child in there, right? No, no. So to be clear, she and the kid stay outside on the path. That is what I want from her. The kid, the kids, Vegemite, uh, and, and give. Yes, they will stay out here. She will look after the uh, kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, some hard assurance is needed. <laughs> <sighs> she's like listen partridge's uh partridge's community is so safe if you leave them with me and we get back there and once partridge is back we'll all be okay we can we can we'll be safe right and she like tur like looks at given is like don't worry you can come and you can stay with us in the fortress and it's gonna be all right What's so a, like one, sorry. Oh, what's sorry. A, what's what's a six? Uh, ten is a success, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I help? I think I do. Cool. Um. Oh, but how much of this do I want to do? I want to do. Um. 
I mean, if you're helping, you then know, you're rolling hex. Yeah, yeah, but like, I'm okay. So what I'm. What is my hex? First of all, I should check that before I do this. <laughs> uh, it's it's zero. It is zero. But from a flavor point of view, give is still on my shoulder, and mm. I'm not likely to let them go. Right? It's it's primary objective is keeping give safe and the safest give is going to be is with us so i don't know if this is an interaction with like an interaction with um budgie smuggler uh is that yeah, like the, your like your yeah. presence is almost like a silent yeah mm, like like, like you, 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 yeah you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pull give off my shoulder if if that's like you know if you want to try that and i've got five friends that say you don't want to try that um so i don't know if this is a like actually a help roll or another seduce manipulate no it's a help roll help roll okay nope that's fair uh, yeah i think now. like for what it's worth um give sort of like isn't necessarily like you know angry or hostile or anything about the suggestion but like is clearly does not want to leave like mm. either morning or mido like i think is like kind of holding on to mido like probably uncomfortably on the neck or something you know <laughs> one of um, the few like when, human parts yeah is, yeah like, like one of the few places exactly. where i still have human sensation all yeah. right i'm gonna i'm, I'm rolling it now okay. Hey, it's plus one. Hooray. Oh. Yeah. She's like, like, so what's your response like to that? She, so she's like, like, we'll look after the other kid. What do you say? That, what's the, I don't, what's say, your final an, I don't word? say anything. The, the, no, no, uh, son, uh, a morning. What's morning's like final oh, word in that, in that conversation? So I think, that I, think I like, mind. like she's turned to look at give and she's like coming. And I think I like put like one hand comes off her shoulder and, and onto her cheek. And I like turn her face around and like press my forehead. Right. So I'm, again, like I'm staring at her and, and she's staring to me and I say to her Is there an is, So she's like older, right? Is the impression I've gotten Yeah, yeah, she's like mid late Like 30s. not of my generation, but like Not, yeah. you know, yeah. one she's of the adult. kids quote Yeah Is there something I used to call her when she was a kid? Mm. Like is she of a generation that Sunrise has been around Was around for her like childhood or adolescence or early adulthood yeah right um <laughs> give me a second let me look uh have we used princey yet i think princey makes sense i don't think we've used it no yeah princey no. um princey? but like the thing I'm is like, like most people i think most people uh Called, uh, called her Joe's girl, but only a few people called her Princey. Okay, so just, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm not about to, like, misgender this character. No. That is 110% not something Morning is interested in doing. Yeah. yeah. So I think, yeah, like, I, I like I, I put my hand on her cheek, and I turn, you know, I turn her face around, and I press my forehead to hers, and I stare at her, and I say, Princey, Partridge isn't coming back. Everything that goes in there doesn't come back. And give gives not like the kid, and like my eyes momentarily shift to to Vegemite to make it clear mm. I'm talking about, right? You, you, we both know it. They hear voices that aren't there. They disappear into backstage. They're not dead, and like clearly referring to myself. And they're not, like, unliving. But they're not alive like you. They'll be fine. It's you two I'm worried about. Take care um, of yourself, kid. And yeah, I, think, I, I think that's it. Like, you I just, just confuse them just into like, doing up. what you want, right? Like, they're just like, I don't understand what's going on. I'm just going to, like, go into obedience out of, like, confusion. 
right? Yeah, and I, yeah, and I think the the last thing is like I'm like I'm like like take care of yourself, kid, and I like stand up and pull away like all in the one motion mm -hmm. and turn around, and then just start like very like slowly and deliberately moving towards the roundhouse, like to join Mido and Gin. Yep, and that's where we take our break. Yeah. Cool. We'll be back in five minutes, chat.